Fraser Valley News and Chill TV and uh, at the uh, museum downtown, the uh, History Museum, the Military Museum. Gord, what happened? What was, what was the timeline? Did this happen Saturday, Sunday, Monday morning? Uh, Sunday uh, morning at about uh, 4.45 uh, a.m. And uh, the call uh, was dispatched out to one of our members and he was down here at five in the morning and they found that the front door had been, uh, uh, they used it, uh, an angle grinder to cut through the aluminum uh, door frame, uh, rip it open, uh, came in with a hammer. The cabinet in behind us uh, was smashed. 20 to 25 bayonets were stolen and one uh, Thompson submachine gun was taken uh, from the bike that's up front at the door that was, uh, and it's an airsoft version of yeah. that Thompson, so. Is it usable or is it for- No, it's deactivated. Yeah. But the, the knives would, uh, or the bayonets, uh, they're all inscribed with archival numbers, uh, so they're, they're traceable, but uh, you know, replacing them if we don't will take time. Uh, we already have the inventory list. They've been distributed to the RCMP and they will be distributed to other uh, entities like the HACS, uh, Historical Arms Collector Society and whatnot, other uh, military affiliate organizations and associations as such. Sounds like these guys knew what they were doing with, with, the, with the way you described the front door being Yes, uh, we feel that uh, from uh, uh, that we were cased uh, that there was two individuals that came in, they were here for a very short period of time and were gone. And then just shortly afterwards here, we are uh, dealing with the aftermath. Is there a street value? Would pawn shops even touch stuff like that? Yes and no. Uh -huh. Depends on how shady you are. Yeah. You know, it's uh, it could be a, somebody's personal collection. Uh, or it could just be for drug money or, or, or whatever. It's, uh, but yeah, there is value to some of the pieces. Are there any upcoming shows in that where this, these things might show up, like in Vancouver or Calgary or? We have a Historical Arms Collector Society uh, show coming up here this coming uh, Sunday. In Chilliwack? In Chilliwack at Heritage Park, or not Heritage Park, sorry, Evergreen Hall on Corbolt and Spadina. So I would and they will be informed of what, and be given the munition of what was taken. Yeah. Uh, obviously pictures in that. What about security video, not only for the store, but across the street, down the block? We have talked to all our neighbors, the Royal Hotel. We've passed out all information on to the RCMP. They've canvassed them for a video, the video that we had in here. The perpetrator was uh, in dark clothing with a hoodie and a mask on. Uh, so it's very hard to get any facial features, but there was blood left at the crime scene. So what, they cut themselves, you think? Yeah, they or? cut themselves, and the police took the uh, blood with the, uh, on the glass. Okay. So. And this box of glass, I assume, is... Part, a part of the front of the showcase they smashed with the uh, hammer. Okay. Yeah. Obviously, anything with blood on it's already gone to forensics, but I, yes. I would assume. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the forensic guy from Surrey was out here this morning at uh, about 9 o'clock. Uh, he dusted uh, the front doors. He dusted the cabinet. Uh, they t obviously took the the uh, the hammer that was used in the crime, uh, the glass uh, with the blood on it, and whatnot. Uh, we've had other community groups come in. The Chilliwack Business Improvement Association has come in to uh, help assist in the cost of. Uh, re-establishing the security on the building and beefing it up some more. Uh, generous support from uh, our neighbors uh, in uh, the concern and supplying video to the RCMP of what their cameras have caught out on the street. We now know there are there were two perpetrators. Uh, and we just want to wait further word from uh, the RCMP as they go through their investigation. Uh, if somebody wants to make a donation of anything, whether it's hard hard goods or cash? Uh, be, all donations are greatly accepted. Uh, you can bring them down here to the museum uh, Wednesday to Saturday from 12 to 4. Uh, we do have a website, and I will provide you with that info. Great stuff.